The Gala World Science Congress was held at the Institute of Chemical Engineers at Jadapur University, Kolkata, West Bengal, between March 1st to 3rd, 2024. The founder president, Professor Dr. Colonel Ranajit Bishas, said that the main focus of the World Science Congress or the 15th edition of the World Science Congress held at Jadapur University is to attract the students or the new generation of budding scientists from our schools and colleges to come together on a common platform so that they can learn, explore, understand the various new innovations and frontiers of science and technology that is happening around us and learn how to apply them for the betterment of the, our lives, the country and for the prosperity and economic growth of our nation. Professor Dulal Chandra Mukherjee, the Secretary General of Wild Science Congress, emphasized that the Wild Science Congress is a forum not only for the promotion of science but also to bring people from across the world on a common platform for cross-pollination of ideas, thoughts, philosophies, technologies and to get to know each other. He suggested that as scientists we work at different corners of the world and sometimes being isolated without knowing each other. It is very important that science communication becomes an apparent opportunity to develop into an integrated manner and form so that it is disseminated across all disciplines and scientists, researchers, academics, research scholars and mere enthusiasts of science as well as journalists get to know from one another what's hot what's happening in various arenas and vistas of science and technology and how this could be utilized in our life for the economic prosperity and growth of the nation. The event was a great success that was initiated by lighting of the lamp by the dignitaries uh, who emerged and came from various countries including India, China, Nepal, Bhutan, Iran, South Africa, Thailand, Taiwan, Philippines, Canada and United States and European Union to join hands together for initiating a new focus on science to look for one earth, one family as a mandate for betterment of life and to understand and explore how the world as a global village can cater to for all its citizens irrespective of the boundaries that share us whether one is from developed or underdeveloping countries whether one is from the first world or the third world nation it is the prerogative of every individual citizens of this global planet to guess the best of the services of science and technology that is emerging at the current moment of the time there were participants who were students and research scholars spread across India both from northern and southern part and they participated greatly in deliberation of their research work with great enthusiasm and PowerPoint presentations. School students representing 27 different institutes participated in this entire program in various posters combination categorized in various group age groups and class depending on what classes and standard they are in and awards were handed in for the best posters that was prepared and presented during the World Science Congress held at Jadavpur University. Various research scholars pointed out how important it is for the dissemination of science to the general public as science is being done in the laboratory but it is not being transmitted or transformed to our local communities and people so that we are not aware of what is happening in science and how to take benefit out of it. Several cutthroat technologies in engineering, medical sciences, astronomy and physical sciences, geophysical sciences, biological sciences, anthropology and other branches of social sciences were discussed in great depth. It was an eventful opportunity for all researchers and academics who participated in this international conference or the 15th World Science Congress held at Jadavpur University that helped them to 
appreciate, understand and get comprehensive knowledge of research technologies and development that is happening in the various corners of the world and how we could benefit from one another through the process of cooperation, collaboration, coordination and communication, the 4C principle in better handling, in better understanding, in better deciphering the role of science the positive aspects of science and technology and how to take this forward for the poorest of the poor across developed and developing worlds so that the betterment of the life and the betterment of the economy happens. Economy and ecology needs to be integrated together was one of the major essence that was uh, delivered by various uh, presenters within this conference where it was discussed how sustainable technology, whether it is in agriculture whether it is in medical sciences or whether it is in agricultural sciences could be integrated together for the betterment of human life and how various technologies methods evolved in medical sciences could be made cheaper and made more accessible and affordable for the ordinary citizens plight of the developing and underdeveloped countries under the current regime of global climate change and global warming and what should be done as a part of cooperation between developed and developing world was also discussed. It was a well neat international conference with the series of talks highlighted on various aspects of physics, chemistry, mathematics, statistics, biology, geology, <coughs> social humanities and social sciences uh, pertaining to growth and development of science and technology, engineering sciences were all represented very nicely. The organizers are appreciated for bringing science to the window of the common citizens, common people, in a package which is appreciable, endurable, and accessible for them. The main theme that came out, or the main essence that came out from the conference was that it is important to make science for all. Our science could not be restricted only in the laboratories. Our science could only not be restricted only among academics, researchers, and scientists. It needs to percolate downwards. It needs to percolate and seep deep into even the lowest strata of the society. For the benefits it generates, it must reach all. Resolutions were taken to understand and appreciate science and technology and take it to the rural areas more so that people from these areas benefit more from the cutting edge science and technology events and <coughs> discoveries and innovations that are happening around the world. Cost has been one of the biggest impact that post pandemic many countries, uh, whether developing or underdeveloped countries, has been suffering as well as the developed nation. Hence, Emphasis was given to the fact that we need to make these available technology percolating from science to make them affordable for the ordinary people. Overall, the conference was a great success and it highlighted mostly on the impact of science in the current millennium and how this is important for us humans as a society to survive on this global planet. Shoikot Kumar Bosu, Bureau Report, Kalinga Chronicle TV.